सो गाइज फाइनली द सेकंड वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ माय पीसी प्रिंटिंग सी एनसी मशीन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर यू हाउ टू अपलोड दिस सी मशीन इन वेरी राइट वे and i am pretty sure you might be thinking you are bought this kind of pen in offline or online store and put this pen on your cnc machine like this and run any kind of pcb g code file on your cnc machine and your cnc machine produce very very decent pcb for you right <laughs> no my friend not this is not too easy as you thinking because i already tested this several kind of pen and okay let's give you a demo uh, see here this is the pen this pen if size is 0.6 mm and if i draw a line with this pen then if i measure this line then you can see this line size is approximately 0.8 mm so one thing is clear it is not possible to draw thinner than 0.8 mm line but guys i have a trick with this trick you can make 0.15 mm line that means you can make pcb with this cnc machine so guys let's do it and watch the video till the end this video is sponsored by jlc pcb jlc pcb is one of the most popular pc making company in china here you can order all kind of two to six layer pcb at very low price even in different color that too completely free but the heaviest news is that it is in smt order jlc pcb produce smt plate more accurate and more precise so definitely you can order your smt plate with your pcb and i hope you know guys how important smt plate are for smt soldering so guys without wasting any more time today what are your smt plate with your smt pcb link is in the description box as always okay guys at first i will tell you my cnc is not 100% accurate let me give you an example see this is my smt pcb g code file so right now i am sending this code to my cnc and see my cnc start printing after complete this now if you look very closely you will understand that the pcb traces are not very perfect this is because of this z axis which is not smooth moving a little so guys now time to update my z axis so let's do it okay finally this is my z axis you can see this working very great right but now one thing is left i need to set this z axis on my cnc okay guys this is the full and final update setup of my cnc so let's check this out now the problem is solved or not oh one thing uh, behind you can see this is my cnc controlling pcb if you don't know then i will tell you i ordered this pcb from jlc pcb jlc is yes this is a pcb manufacturer company and if you are really interested in this cnc machine then i am highly recommended to order this board from jlc pcb and as always the garo file you can find in the description box you know that my cnc machine is totally updated so i sent the earlier code on my cnc machine for the run it took me approx 3 to 4 minute see this is the final result even this is a lot more accurate rather than the previous one and if you want even more perfect and more accurate result then this is not possible with this cnc machine okay guys i know i did a long drama so the main question is how to operate this cnc machine in very pretty way okay this is very easy first you need to make a very nice single layer pcb on your trusty pcb making software in my case i am using ezda next you have to export this pcb file in svg file After then you have to open software called Inkscape. Here I am using 1.1.2 version. Next in this software I make my plot size 100 by 100 mm and after done this I will import my PCB SVG file which I was export earlier from Ezedia that you know. And after then you need to go trace bitmap. And here one thing is remember you need to make sure every number is a zero because without this your pcb will not beautiful actually as your svg so i did this next i make a clone and after then i go fill and stock option here you can click this option and after this option and you are done now you have to save this file in svg after then you need to open another software called inkscape but this time this version is 0.4.2 and again make sure you have a 100 by 100 mm plot next again i open modify svg file then you need to click this path option 
After then I go extension. And here I already added an extension called MI ZXS Servo Control extension. So definitely I click this option and here you can see everything about your servo, even your XY feed rate, even your servo movement degree. So you can select according your CNC machine. So next definitely I save my G-code file in a folder. Next I open another software to send G-code to my CNC. That's called Universal G-code Sender. Here you can see this is the interface. So at first definitely I have to connect my right Arduino port. After then I have to import my G-code file to send my CNC. That is why I import it and see. So definitely I send this file to my CNC and see my CNC is working like my G-code. So guys let's check this out its progress and the final result. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly, thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off, I won't let them win, I'll take a stab. I want to chase a bag, I want a way I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts, I gotta taste in that. Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch. I just wanna break these chains I was asking for greatness True to myself, I never fake it Seen too many ones that I saw they get famous And when I say the truth, most really can't take it In spite of everything I've been through, I'ma make it Fake friends, but I'm a downfall, it's toxic Day one, started to outlaws for profit Yo, All I do is write verses, no talking All I do is put the work in, no option This was everything I ever wanted Created a legacy off of me, just being honest And the fake ones hate, but it's all to no avail They wanna see me lose, but you know I never fail Okay see this is the final result and this circuit is not too bad. This is usable for any kind of circuit, right? But guys before the chemical process at first you need to dry this PCB in very beautiful way. For this I apply my table lamp to dry it. And after drying it I put it ferric chloride acid. In this process it will take 5 to 10 minutes. And after complete this process you can see this is usable. And this is acceptable so guys in this process you can make your pcb at very fast and more precise but here another question arrives is that how to make a very thin line with this cnc machine okay this is pretty easy here i am using 0.6 mm pen that you know instead of 0.6 if i use here 0.1 mm or 0.05 mm then you can make a very 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 thin line that means you can make very insane PCB. But friend, this is quite experimental for beginner. So guys, this is for today. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you don't like this video, then definitely you can dislike it. And if you like it, then you can subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next one.